and it uh, Rob from Lapbook. I'm with me here in the Mason family because you can see them and not me. Okay, if you just folks, if you just uh, tell everybody who you are and then we'll get started. Yeah, I'm James. I'm Ellie. Christian. I'm Christian. Christian. And this is Rosie May. Okay. Okay, so we we, we this is a third now of our interviews about the hidden disabilities of LAPS. So folks, so would you just like to explain uh, what condition you're facing? So Christian has autistic and ADHD, um, yeah. which is fine, isn't it? Nothing wrong with that. We're all good. No. Um, but we often struggle with daily things like yeah. washing, brushing teeth. It's all to do with how his mind. My tablets. Yeah, how you, how his mind is slightly wired differently to to everybody else. But he's still just <coughs> still a normal little boy, aren't you? We still do all the normal things. All the fun things, but except he doesn't run out of energy. He doesn't run out of energy. <laughs> Ever. 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 No. Hundred mile an hour. Yeah. Twenty four hours. Kind of works well for LARP actually. <laughs> <laughs> that, that makes Christian the perfect LARPer. Yeah. Hmm. Monster crew, I think. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. have a Zelda sword? Oh, fantastic. That's Zelda. But it's, it's not, not LARP safe. It's not LARP safe. Well, we have to get a, get a LARP safe a Zelda sword. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably win just. Slice the mm -hmm. sharp bits off. Okay. Just make it a little bit flat. <laughs> yeah. So, as a family now, you're mostly game, gaming with Balrog games. Yes. Yeah? yes. Balrog games, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is fourth, third, fourth year. I think so, yeah. I've been LARPing since I was 12, 13. 12, 13. Yeah, so yeah. it's been a while. It's been a while. I left, left I for a good few years. Yeah. Um, and then we obviously, I met James, we had the children. Yeah. James is always, I want to come, I want to come. Yeah. So we bit the bullet the one year and we were like, right, come on then. Mm -hmm. We did it. That was a hard, hard year. Yeah. Really hard. Um, because it was all new yeah. for Christian, it was all new for us. Yeah. Um, and when I was born, it was very She was hard. still a baby. Yeah. So it, it was it was a really difficult year oh, and it was, it was kind of, one sure if we were going to do it again. Yeah. But, 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 How old was I then? About early, right, thinking it, the new, that's the hard part. Yes. Would you like to explain that, what, what with helps? Having, with, with new things, new experiences, it's easy for us to have the lots of information beforehand, pictures, yeah. videos, yeah. if we can do tours, yeah. anything that we can pump in with, um, like what is expected to happen, yeah. how things are going to be run, Structurally, if he yeah. knows that there's a structure and there's a routine, yeah. generally he's okay. But that prepping before we go anywhere is important. Is important, yeah. and it depends on if we put a lot of prepping into it. Yeah. Generally, we have a successful day out or experience. Yeah. If we put a little bit of prepping, generally that's um, that makes it harder. Yeah. So would you say that if, if a lab was to do something like have like like plans and like video tours that and explanations would... of the plan for the day? Um, yeah, but then kind of it, that kind of takes it a little bit away from the whole fun of the lab because it's very it's supposed to be spontaneous. It's supposed to be a bit yeah. off the cuff. So it's kind of it's finding that. I think that videos of the area, you know, yeah, yeah definitely, and pictures. introduction of the people yeah. that will be at the event. Um, you know, sleeping arrangements, stuff yeah. like that as well, you know. Actually, I agree with you on sleeping rooms because something other people have said, not in this series, but in the past, that some people find it a bit odd, off-putting or odd. I mean, I did a laugh for a stag, a stag do once and they couldn't really get their head down what the sleeping arrangements were because they weren't used to laughs. Yeah. yeah. And perhaps, perhaps what would have been better is a description of, or photographs of arrangements. Yeah, yeah, be that tense, be that a hut. Yeah, you know, it, you know, at least you know yeah. where you're going to be placing your head. So really, be up, please, up front and clear about if it's a tent, if it's a hut, if it's a hut, it's these kind of bunks. Yeah. And this kind of bathroom, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think when we first went, I don't even think we took, we didn't take sheets with us. I think. No, it was. And yeah. the beds didn't have sheets, which we didn't know. Obviously, I yeah. think staying in hotels for too long, really. Yeah. Um, but you know we. Were, we knew then the year after we would take that. We take, take what we need, yeah. But it'd be better if you had it first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think because that first time, 
we weren't sure which cabin we were going to be sleeping in or yeah. who we were going to be with. Yeah. Um, and obviously he didn't know any of the people. I oh, had no. knew of the people because I'd remember them from, from years ago, yeah, but it was yeah. it's been, it had been a long time since yeah. meeting them. Yeah, it had, it had but for Christian, while, yeah. it was a case of these are brand new people. Yeah. And I'm expected to sort of behave a certain way to show yeah. that I am being polite, but then in the same respects, it, it's a difficulty socialization for him in any case. Yeah. He did meet some friends though. He so did. Some young LARPers <laughs> yeah. as well. Brilliant. Um, maybe not on the spectrum, which yeah. they aren't. Um, but, you know, I think it's the. Granted, Christian is Christian, um, but I think a lot of people don't realize, you know, certain triggers, things that mm. can happen. And I think it's arming other people with that information as well that. You know, if he goes off on a, you know, and kicks off about something yeah. and has a meltdown, they understand why. That's the thing that's important, yeah. You know, some people think, oh, it's just a spoiled child, but yeah. it's it's not. It's, it's just not, because it's... everything's happening in his brain so much and so quickly and so loud yeah. that he doesn't realise that. So it's it's great arming us with the information to help him, but it's all, also everybody else that needs to know what to expect from you know, hidden yeah, disabilities. But that's the whole problem, isn't it? They, they, they <coughs> are hidden and nobody, you, you'd never know from looking at people that there are actually problems that, no. can, that, can, be, that can have a serious consequence. Yeah. yeah, so it's all according to us being, um, you know, we know, and if we yeah. see another child, we'll probably will know. Yeah. But it's other people knowing that, that potentially he has a his, hidden disability. Yeah. But again, probably... we've been in a couple of situations at events where something has happened, somebody might have said something to Christian and he's gone off in his own little meltdown. Normally not pulling blows. Because he's not pulling blows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you that, in a, yeah. that in itself that, has been a, a massive you, achievement because the first year yeah. he did not want to dress up, he didn't want to have a sword, he was yeah. just, right, I'm going to go and sit over here. And each year yeah. he's done a little bit more. Like last year yeah. he was he offered to sacrifice himself. To save oh. somebody else, so that was just like, wow. wow. That, that um, was in game, not out again. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nanny sacrificed. But nanny sacrificed but herself. Nanny sacrificed. Good old nanny. But I think as the more we do, yeah, the better it is for him. He knows the area. Yeah. Um. You know, he knows the people. He's getting yeah. to know the people, and I think that because that particular group are getting to know him <coughs> and us, they understand him a little bit better and a lot of them if rather than sort of saying right Christian don't do that explaining to him why we mustn't do it so he likes to have the explanation of right there's no point in just saying to him don't because yeah. he'll go well why why that makes me want to do it even more yeah partly any child would want to do that well, but it's having, childhood. <laughs> it's having that extra explanation and somebody yeah. taking that extra bit of time to just right this is why. So um Yeah, don't go over there. What's over there? <laughs> that's, that's what it does every single time. But you know, he's curious. Yeah. Absolutely. Um we're quite lucky with Balrog, um that it's a small group. It is, yes. It's um, a small system. Agreed, it's, yeah. it's around about I think about thirty yeah. below yeah. players. Yeah. Um but even the the game organizers um all know us as a family and know how to treat each individual person yeah. um but that's really nice you know we can go out of there will be at some points yeah. that me or eddie will be out of the game yeah. um for a period of time yeah. and i think it's having that ability to go out of game um to be able to help you know christian or, or rosie yeah um where i think in some bigger systems they may not allow that or they may Frown upon it. Yeah, frown upon it because you may be a key player within a certain part. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's more of making people aware that you will have to take yourself out of the game, yeah. put your finger in the air, walk off, uh, and go and help. I, I could definitely give a theme, I think, of, of where we're chatting about hidden disabilities is that people need to follow their physical or mental needs. If you need to be immersed or can be immersed, that's great. But if you need to step back for whatever reason, mm -hmm. You need to have that, that possibility of just stepping in for a while. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, that's, that's definitely a thing for you, yeah? Yeah, Oh, 100%. Definitely. I think we went, we both went out of game for... Quite a from, while. Quite a while, about half hour to an hour yeah. once um, at a key point within the game. Yeah. But because the people who are with us know us, yeah. they'll understand that. They may take that opportunity to then to have a, a tea break in game or whatever it might be. Yeah. It's usually um, around meal times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Children get hungry. Yes. <laughs> but again, last year was probably the easiest year of yeah. all because we planned and we prepared it, didn't we? We made sandwiches, we made pat lunches. And they had their own rucksacks, so we were able to explore and still be a part of the group. Yeah. They got hungry, I'm going to open my pat lunch. So pat that, but that was a case of us learning as parents, That's thinking like, how can we make it easier, not just for these two, mm -hmm. but for us. <laughs> yeah, because uh, even though children are learning, but you're learning Yeah, as well. we're, we're still learning. Like, yeah. we're, we're still learning day-to-day -day stuff yeah. with school and, and, and life. So doing the extra things, it's, yeah. it's a learning curve, but each time does get that a little bit easier. Yeah. I think we probably will, you know, we only go to Balrog games now, yeah. um, but eventually we want to go to the bigger games and see the bigger battles Yeah. Um, once he gets used to it, because obviously a lot of noise sometimes kicks yeah. off certain children. It does. Um, you know, I think having, if we ever went to the bigger battles, potentially they will use, um, you know, pyrotechnics and they, things like yeah. that. Um, yes. And we'll have a lot more noise. Um, and that can kick off some yeah. some people. And you, you won't realise they've got a hidden disability until that happens. No. I mean, I would say the biggest system that I'm quite aware now, it's in my experience of saying, if we are going to have a battle, so it will be noisy. In this battle, there will be pyrotechnics. Yeah. Expect loud bangs. Yeah. And I think the more, and I think the more the systems do that and make that really explicit without spoiling the game. I know it's a difficult thing, isn't it? You know. But then for us, it's a case of making us aware beforehand. So yeah. if we're aware, then we as parents, that's our responsibility to be able to just right explain to him, yeah. and then if he wants to be involved. We can put his ear defenders on, which we always have with us in any case. Awesome. Or if he doesn't want to be around that situation, one of us yeah. will tag team out and go and do something else. We do very much tag team in LARP, don't we? We try and mm -hmm. give yes. each other that opportunity for us to get involved yeah. and have our bit of freedom. But then the other one can focus on the children. But then we know that sometimes... We're both needed. Yeah. That's okay. So would it help you say just <coughs> um, do you think that laughing like you have with, with Christian and what have you um, has helped Christian socialise hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. He has he's so much more sociable and everybody comments on how polite and how how well he's doing. But yeah, it has helped because we, we do camping as well yeah. along the side doing just normal camping weekends. So they help. Um, but yeah, 100% has helped him socially. He's more... <coughs> he likes talking to people. He likes <laughs> people to like him, don't you? And I think he, he, he likes adult attention. Yeah. Which, Very much. you know, he... he if someone's got like a new sword, like we've had obviously a lot of people with new gear, new swords and stuff like that, he always want, wants to have a look at them. Um, and I think that's anyone. He's kind of just fallen into LARPing and kind of done what everybody else does. He just wants to be part of the action instead of being... But he, he does generally socialise better with adults yeah. rather than his own, own yeah. age group. And obviously the group that we're a part of predominantly are all adults. There's only four, five children that, yeah. that go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, he's close four. to those children, but like, he would much rather socialise with an adult. Like it, in our hut, there's like um, four children that we can play with. So we can play with each other. And Aaron and, and Sophie. Yep. Well, it's, it's good, because sometimes Christian will go back um, 
and the other kids, not just Christian, um, will go back and may play with um, you know, portable games consoles or something like that, you know, like a Switch or a tablet. And you bring your the TV, don't you? Yeah, I took a TV last time, just like a little small TV, so yeah. they could go in and, and just have play on my their Switch. own space. And play on my Switch. And play on the and Switch, And watch yeah. a movie. <laughs> and we set up movies as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you could talk to um, game, de game designers and organisers of LARP, then what would you like them to do? Would it be, I mean, uh, the one person, or, or quite a few people we've spoke, spoken to now, have said things like, when, when do you signal the fact that there's, um, I mean, I hate the label disability anyway, if it's, if it's a rubbish label, right? But when there is a, a disability, that they give you a ring and talk through that, see what they can do for you, see what you can bring to the table as well, or is it just something, well, they, they should be made aware of these things and, and be able to handle it? What would you like a, a, a game designer? You know? I think having the ability to, to know a little bit, but not a lot. Um, you know, I don't want to... It's not just about... You know, granted, it is a, you know, disability in a sense, but it's... It's just making them aware that someone is at their event with a disability. Um, I know what you mean about disability in terms of labelling, in a sense, isn't it? Can't stand it. Um, and no one can stand that. I think it's just being aware that there is someone with a disability and there's potentially, you may need to be made aware of this. Um, and they're aware then that you're taken out of the game. You know, at some points, you know, you may need to leave um the game so that's the important thing is just making them aware you know making special changes for people with a hidden disability probably yeah. not i wouldn't say they need I suppose to make it changes. depends on the severity of that individual's yeah of course sort of invisible disability i suppose like for us we very much try and keep things as normal as possible without I yeah. again I don't like using that term. No, 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 but no, no, terrible terms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 kind of well, we, we see it as we want to try and give him as many experiences as we can as a child to be able to help him develop properly in adult life because there's going to be a lot of situations as he grows up that people aren't going to be very um cautious because of his no. invisible disability. We don't want to shelter him. We don't want to shelter him. We want to make him have a, a normal, happy childhood. But I, I don't <laughs> think any particular special treatment. But having that, people just being aware and people maybe giving you a bit of a, like, so roughly the plan for this weekend is going to be this. Obviously, again, you don't want to ruin any times or any plots because that ruins the whole idea of, of LARP. I think something that was important last time that we did last year, which was different, is we actually planned lunches. Yeah, okay. As stupid yeah. as that is, you know, yeah, yeah. the morning is open, what happens in game, what happens in game. Um, one, you know, between like 12 and one loosely, we'll be having food. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the afternoon we'll be carrying on with game um, and then another food and then going up till... 10 o'clock or whatever yeah. you know the time it goes up to so having that structure but loose structure is important putting a bit of a time on things as well yeah, generally on, on a things. weekend away you you lose yeah. all concept of time because oh, nobody carries yeah. a phone <laughs> nobody carries a watch yeah, 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 yeah. but for him having knowing that he knows in his head right i know at 12 o'clock i'm going to go and have my dinner then it kind of makes him less anxious. It yeah. kind of takes those anxieties away a little bit. When are we going to have food? When are we going to have food? Yeah. I don't think there's any child, to be honest. But, um, <laughs> what do you mean, any child? Any child? Any, <laughs> any adult. Yeah, that's adult well. <laughs> but I, I agree, you know, you, sometimes you'll be in game and you'll look outside and think, it's dark. When did it get dark? Dark, <laughs> yeah. Um, and you think, wait a minute, what time is it? And you check the time and think, oh. Better feed the kids. <laughs> we better have some food, really. Um, yeah. You know, you could pretty much live the weekend on beer. We we um, took slow cooker last year. <laughs> slow that cooker. That was amazing because when we were having breakfast yeah. in the hut, we just chucked food in the slow cooker, yeah. left it all day, came back, and whoever was back at what point, if they were hungry, they shook them food, and it worked like a charm. So there we go, LARP pro tip, slow, slow cooker. cooker. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. 
La, la pro tip, find someone with electric. Uh, yes. <laughs> generator. 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 Yeah. Generator slow cooker. It's sorted. Yeah. But you can get a camp in slow cooker, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, with us, that was really important, actually. That worked like a, it worked um, so well. Well, um, is there anything else you'd like to add now to, to the video? Anything you, you want to say to... Anything you want to say, Christian? No? No. 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 You, you sure? enjoy LARP? Yeah. 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 Is it fun? Would you, so, would you want to stop going? No. 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 What's your most f funnest part about it? Me? Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. 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 Well, I think it's, just, it's you know thanks to the people that have actually done LARP with us for you know understanding in a sense and that's the most definitely yeah the most I would say really for for people that we've LARPed with and people who are the game organizers you know have been aware of Christian and have been aware of that we will have to step out we will have to have a wander off sometimes um, granted it seemed last year that every single time that I put my hand up to go out a game to go and sort him out. I walked past the monster crew. Um, <laughs> and they were like, again? He knew. He knew. Um, um, in it, I better say dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the amount of times that, that actually happened last year was but quite then funny. They're also very good at knowing when they can, they're starting to good, get good at reading us. So mm. when they think, actually, Ellie and James are, yeah. are reaching a little bit of a point here. So yeah. they're like, come on, the Christian, let's go over and forage some something. And yeah. they are, the, there's a, quite a few members of our group that are very good at sort of helping distract. Yeah. And I don't really do like healing because I don't like, um, like doing the fighting part, do I? No. No, she's just, but but know, like mini she's... fight, she likes doing it. Yeah, yeah, like I do fights with just like children, like That's... when the grown ups are doing fights, when I don't want to do it and I go back to the hut and there's children by the hut, I just do a little fight with them. You do, yes. One thing that I would say to game organisers, though, the major thing is if children are, are, are at the event, mini campaigns for kids yeah um you know it's not always possible i understand that sometimes it's jammed into a weekend or a week in some cases um but if they can have children there i think it's just a case of including them slightly they, they want like to, to feel included part. yeah mm -hmm. um you know probably more christian when he tries to get his point across is sat there when people are talking he's come on come on i want to talk i want to talk um but it's having those little mini campaigns. I think we did one um, last year with Sophie, wasn't it? And she had a bit of a, a part in the main story and she was loving it. Um, but then other children as well would want to do that. Same as, especially with people with hidden disabilities. They, you know, I think a lot of times they feel excluded as, a, as an individual, yeah. but they do laugh yeah. because they can pretend to be someone else. Um, yeah. And when they can be someone else, it means that they can also have that ability of having an effect on that particular game. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. absolutely. It makes yeah. total sense. Yeah. yeah. Completely agree. Uh, well, thank you very much for, for doing this. That's okay. Um, absolutely marvellous. Uh, the, um, as uh, I suppose, like everything else, if you have been watching, thank you. Um, and uh, we will uh, catch you all again. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. Do not forget to click the subscribe and to hit that little bell to see when more things come out. So for now, it's goodbye from me.